on, Natasha. Spring fever. Those elk have spring fever. They're headed to the city. I city. understand <laughs> completely. Hey, speaking of elk, um, take a look at this herd. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Check them out. This is wow. down the southern Oregon coast. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. Uh, yeah, we had uh, some folks send in this video for us. Thank you so much. Uh, look at that. I mean, that, that looks like springtime, doesn't it? That's right off of Highway yeah. 38. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's near Reedsport. If you're in that area, also watch out for elk. All right. <laughs> A lot of animals out there, including, well, you, me, everybody. <laughs> we want to get out. We all have spring fever. We're done with the snow. Hey, you know what? It can stay in the mountains. That's where we'd like to keep it. And that's where you're going to find it. We're going to have your ski report coming up in just a second. 47 degrees in Portland. 2.32 wind southeast at 7. Sun rises tomorrow at 725. Mountain Meadows. Here we go. 28 degrees right there at 5,000 feet. Here's your ski report. Of course, uh, no new snow here today, but look at that base there at Timberline. 146 inches, 124 inches. Meadows, Ski Bowl 88 and 121 at Bachelor. Good looking snowpack out there. Uh, satellite radar imagery, you can see very clearly where we have a nice clear space just offshore. High pressures doing its best to take over and it may stay with us for a good four, maybe even five days. Looking ahead at the next 24 hours, uh, clearing up and then clouding up tomorrow. Tomorrow, probably in the late afternoon, you'll notice it first at the coast and then spreading over our inland valleys throughout the night Friday as well into Saturday. There's an area of low pressure that's going to be passing by on Saturday. Not likely to bring us any rain, but cloudier skies certainly and that'll help moderate the temperature a little bit during the day. Uh, but speaking of those temperatures, we've been below normal for pretty much well, I'd say since February, pretty much all of February through most of this month. Now we're turning the corner, though. Our temperatures are going to be above normal. In fact, starting tomorrow, you're really going to notice it. So spring officially next Wednesday, but you'll feel it more so this weekend. Temperatures potentially hitting 70 degrees even by, if not Sunday, by Monday. Tuesday, temperatures still well above normal thanks to that ridge of high pressure. So uh, forecast for you tomorrow at the coast. Uh, your morning temperatures won't be quite as cold this time around. Seaside waking up to 40 degrees with an afternoon high almost up to 60. Inland valleys, your morning temperature upper 30s overall. Daytime highs right around 62 all the way from Kelso down to Corvallis. Central Oregon, chilly morning. Upper 20s overnight lows, though, um, will remain in the 20s next couple of nights. Those daytime highs, Central Oregon, low 50s. Here's your seven day forecast. I have your St. Patty's Day uh, icon right there for you, Jeff. I know it's your favorite. 67 for you, Monday 70. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's jumping around. He loves the sunshine. Yeah. Thanks. Still ahead here. The Pac 12.